Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial series. In these videos, we're going to explore distributed actor-based programming using the Microsoft Orleans framework. Orleans is an open source and cross-platform framework used to build scalable, robust applications. We're going to build a simple banking system, which will support things like ATM withdrawals, asset compliant money transfers, and streaming customer data in a robust and scalable manner. We're going to take advantage of many of the features that the Orleans framework itself provides us, such as streaming, persistence, transactions, and stateless workers. Before we check it out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can see the latest videos. So let's kick things off by really quickly giving a high level overview of what we are going to build over the set of videos. The application itself is going to be made up of two main parts. First, we are going to have a lightweight REST API that will allow us to proxy calls to Orleans over HTTP. This has the added benefit of allowing us to scale our API independently of our core banking system. The second part is the Orleans cluster itself, which will perform the actual logic required of our banking system. This is made up primarily of a number of actors that scale independently and generally mirror the business entities that we want our system to represent. In this tutorial, we will use actors like checking account, ATM, and customer. These entities can communicate in a number of ways, such as direct actor-to-actor -actor calls or by streaming data to one another. We will dive into exactly what it means to be an actor and why they are advantageous in the next video. Finally, the Orleans system relies on pluggable providers to power functionality like actor placement and discovery, reminders, and streaming. We will not be using this storage technology directly, rather we will be configuring Orleans to use it so it is abstracted away from us. Let's take a look at some of the languages, frameworks, and tools that we'll be using throughout this tutorial. The main language that we will be using will be C-sharp as Orleans is only available for .NET applications. However, we will be covering lots of theory and patterns that are applicable to other actor-based frameworks available in other languages. So if you are not interested in using or learning C-sharp, then you can skip some of the more in-depth coding portions of the tutorials. In-depth knowledge of C-sharp is not required and we won't be doing anything too complicated using the language. In terms of frameworks, we will be using ASP.NET Core to power our API, but again, we will only be using very basic functionality here, so no real prior knowledge is required. Obviously, we will also be using Microsoft Orleans as our main framework that we will be learning about. We will be using Orleans version 8 in this tutorial, which is the latest version as of the production of this series. The programming model has developed slightly over time, but the core concepts and basics generally remain the same. In terms of tools, the main IDE that we'll be using is Visual Studio, but it will be also possible to use Visual Studio Code. We will be using the Azureite storage emulator for Azure to power a cluster and Postman to make API calls. I'll leave links in the description of this video to download all the required tools and frameworks. In the next video, we're gonna take a deeper look at what it means to be an actor framework and some of the specific terminology used by Orleans. We will also look at the main advantages we get from using actor-based programming. We will take a more in-depth look at how Orleans makes it easier to write distributed code, as well as how it achieves scalability and reliability. Most videos in the series will start with a generic overview of a feature that we will be implementing before looking at how we would go about implementing in our sample application. The final application code will be available on GitHub for those who want to clone or fork it. Thanks for watching the first video in this series. For those who want to stick around, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification bell so you can catch the upcoming episodes.